Today I'd like to discuss one of the common myths in management. The myth that I like to discuss is the myth that mental management has little or no impact on a company. I'd like you to meet Bob. Bob is the CEO of a very important and popular sneaker company, Reebok. However, Bob has the mindset of far too many managers. He has the mindset that if they weren't there, the company would fall apart. So Bob does everything for the company. He makes every important managerial decision and as a result, no one grows and becomes a better employee with the exception of Bob. So middle managers suffer. They are not trained and they're not able to interact and work with and develop the rest of the team. As a result of Bob's actions, productivity, stock prices go down. Uh, no one's appreciated. And so Bob makes a decision to improve his middle management team. <laughs> Break was over 15 minutes ago. And since Terry's been with us, our productivity has gone up 46%. We're getting more from our employees than ever before. You know you need a cover sheet on your TPS reports, Richard. That ain't new, baby. Hey, Terry. Hey, Janice. Mother but what's really impressed me is how Terry's become part of the Felcher family. Yeah, baby. He fits right in here. That's a long distance call, Doug. What's up, y'all? That's not to say that Terry's gone soft. He still does what he does best. This ain't your home, so don't you just make a phone, Roger! It's one hundred percent hard, baby. Sure, I check a few fools. I give them the pain. But sometimes it's about intimidation, you know. It's my games. <laughs> Sorry, right, I'll see you later. So as a result of Bob's <laughs> actions, the employees are now happy. Stock market and the productivity in the department is gone up and the middle managers are happy because now they feel appreciated and they feel a part of the team. <laughs>